Review time. Uh, this is a UV sterilization lamp, a timely topic given that we're in the middle of a pandemic. It has a rechargeable battery charged through this USB port. And uh, if you press this button here, uh, it'll turn the lamp on for 30 minutes and then automatically turn it off. I won't press the button because UV light is, of course, harmful to the eyes. Uh, the manufacturer claims that once the battery is recharged, it's good for about five cycles before you have to recharge it again. Let's uh, test it out, see if it's an effective device, and uh, tear it down. Okay, so this is the inside of the assembly. Looking promising, uh, obviously this is the tube that generates the light. It's called an excimer tube. Uh, it, more importantly though, you can see the two leads heading back to a transformer. That'll be a high voltage there. Gives me some confidence this is going to be a real unit. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of fakes out there where they'll insert like UVB uh, LED bulbs. And of course, that's not sufficient to generate the kind of light that we need. But uh, with this, if this is an excimer tube, it's going to be just filled with a gas. There's a high voltage that occurs, and then uh, it excites uh, the element. And then as it drops down back through its energy bands, it uh, kicks out a photon of the right uh, frequency. So it uh, looks promising because uh, the existence of this transformer. We'll take a closer look at the circuit board in a minute. Uh, obviously, the rechargeable battery here. Uh, because there's a, um, oh, here's the USB one. Uh, this ah. because there's a button here uh, to turn it on and off. There's obviously going to be a microprocessor to control that 30-minute cycle. Let's uh, pop the circuit board out and see if we can sort those details down. Okay, all the details are on this side of the board. Uh, on the flip side is just simply the switch to turn the unit on and off and some uh, traces, but no other components. Uh, high voltage capacitor here. High voltage transformer here. Looks like a microprocessor here and then the power circuitry here to generate the voltage. So all the parts look right. Uh, what we need to do next, I think, is uh, start a test and see if we can figure out whether or not this lamp actually uh, can provide some sort of a sterilization a function. All right, well, if you're trying to figure out if something uh, sterilizes biological material, you have to basically grow something. Uh, the classic starting point is this thing called agar agar. It's a funny name, but it's basically a growth medium uh, used to uh, grow cultures. Uh, you basically measure a precise amount, uh, you uh, boil it into water, um, and you create basically a gel that you pour into these uh, petri dishes. And uh, then what you do is you find some um, something biological. I went around my house and uh, swabbed some of the uh, surfaces and uh, swiped that onto um, the top of the petri plates. And then what I did is I um, put three of them up into a closet, a dark closet, and those are the controls, basically. And then I took the other three and I placed them, as is shown here, uh, one stacked upon the other on one side and one's just sitting by itself. And then I let the lamp run its cycle. So um, it's kind of a dangerous lamp in a sense. and It allows you to actually escape the room when it runs. But uh, should someone inadvertently walk back into the room, there's no sort of motion sensing the lamp. So I guess you have to be pretty careful when you use this thing uh, if there's other people in your household. Anyways, uh, what I did is I, of course, then uh, had three exposed to the light and then three not exposed to the light and then I put them up in my uh, box here and I just basically waited uh, a week um, or two weeks actually and uh, see if anything would grow and uh, what we have here is the ones that were marked with C or the control samples these are the ones that were not exposed to UV light they were just given the uh, uh, bacteria laden uh, water and uh, that of course results in growth you can see these dark spots here, basically bacterial growth. Uh, even more in this one here in the middle, you can see quite considerable. Uh, and the uh, third one, sure, growth. So, uh, no surprise, you put bacteria onto a growth medium like agar, uh, it grows. Uh, perfect. Now, the question is, the ones that were exposed to the ultraviolet light, what happened? And uh, here, of course, we can see, um, we see some spots here, but that's not, actually not bacteria. That's just the water that was evaporating from the sample caused a distortion of the agar top. Uh, same thing with number two here. There just simply is uh, no growth. And I think three had a just a speck of growth on it. Um, yes, right there. A little hard to see, perhaps. Uh, just a speck of growth. So uh, no question that this uh, ultraviolet light uh, is, is effective. I mean, no surprise. Uh, ultraviolet light is known to kill uh, bacteria. Uh, but of course, the question I had was really, was the unit that I bought from Amazon producing actually uh, ultraviolet light? Uh, unfortunately, uh, there's been some reports of some uh, devices looking pretty suspicious, but the one I snagged uh, definitely seems to be doing its job and definitely seems to be uh, eliminating the bacteria after a, a short exposure. So, uh, very cool.